Welcome to our third and final edition of What the Fuck is Going On with NBA All-Star Voting. Uh, some of our very successful clips recently have gone on uh, this platform regarding the fans being, for the, for the most part, dumb. So here's the list. We'll go to number one, and then we'll get into a really fun fact about Giannis's All-Star Voting. Uh, so why? why? Why am I upset this time? Um, well, let's see. Uh, Isaiah Thomas is a superstar and deserves to be voted in far more. Uh, here's one quick tidbit about Isaiah Thomas, right? All the AI lovers out there, Isaiah Thomas has better numbers across the board than AI did in his age 23 season, his age 24 season. But defensively, Isaiah Thomas is garbage, so we can't give him any credit. Okay, where are you at, Kyrie and Steph Curry fans? Right. Derrick Rose has more votes than uh, Damian Lillard, which just goes to show that so many people were stuck in 2011. I'm not going to make this about Derrick Rose, though. It's just pathetic that Derrick Rose has 223,000 votes, while guys like Kemba, who have never been in the All-Star game, have 105,000. And uh, Zaza Pachulia is still right up there at the top because people think this is a joke. <laughs> uh, seriously, it's just pathetic. And lastly... Point Giannis, Point Tentacumpo, has gone from NBA All-Star voting to Pornhub voting and is leading all front court players. Here is the screenshot. And this is safe for work, by the way. Giannis on Tentacumpo, hashtag NBA vote. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's in between. He's in between. He's in between choosing categories. He's found a video he's not necessarily interested in. He's just left a quick comment, and he's going to move back to his scrolling. Francis, um, I've never read the Pornhub comments. I never knew there was one. I didn't know there was one either. However, now I am so beyond interested. To what the comment section? To what about? the comment section says about porn? If you think, if what you, could it let's possibly? Just, let's what just could they possibly second. talk about? Let's just think for a second how vile the YouTube comment section. Do you think can it's get? more? No, no. I, I'm going to be honest. I think there is more. I guarantee you that there is more educated conversation in a Pornhub comment section than there is in some some YouTube videos. Uh, the only reason I disagree is because there's, I, I imagine it's a very similar crossover. So what? What do you think is even more of a problem than adolescent kids who are just angry on YouTube? It's only adolescent kids who are angry on but Pornhub. Here's what I don't get, and this is like very important to me, because by the way, I know this has to do with all-star voting, but it also has to do with the facts that there's a comment section for Pornhub. Um, I don't get why you would, when you're done, do you just feel like you need to be like, it's a great video, good work. <laughs> Feedback's important, Jason. What do you write? No, but do you think they read the cut? Do you think someone watched Scorsese and The Departed and just went, that's pretty good, and then left and never said anything? No, they left notes for masterpieces. Yeah, well, they have like Rotten Tomatoes, but like there should be Rotten Tomatoes for, for Pornhub. Pornhub. I agree. It should be like there a, should be rotten. It should be like a, a condom melons. or a condom that has like holes in it or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, melons. <laughs> melons. Is rotten good. melons. Back to the All Star voting, Francis. Dwayne Wade's on the All-Star is up there, and it's no, it's nothing against Dwayne Wade. I get the idea that popularity wins it, but we still, every article I read, every time I see a, a player's career summed up, it says six-time yeah, All All-Star, three-time, all, one time. We need to make a separation. There has to be a separation, and it completely understood that All-Star voting means... Nothing. Zero. Also, we should have the All-Star game in uh, London or overseas. And they're actually That would be a it. great move. Because we sent the Pacers and the Nuggets, and I made a tweet saying, um, Paul George played so badly, they're going to think Nikola Jokic should have been on the cover of NBA 2K17. <laughs> and they sent Mesut Ozil, who's probably just standing there like, what the fuck no is idea. going on here? It's but um, the, even the biggest catastrophe... Like you just mentioned it. Zaza is funny because people are pushing the envelope for that. But then when he jumps ahead of arguably one of the top five best players in the league, that's when you just know that this is a joke. If you're telling me that you're going to look at this as a serious representation of a player's uh, history in the NBA based on how many times he's been an all-star when you had Kobe Bryant shooting all for 995 last year and was still voted to play in the competition. If you have a Kawhi Leonard lower down the ranks, of someone just based on a fun name or, or fun there's ways person to, to watch. There's ways to fix this. I think like after eight or ten all-star teams that you made, you don't get to be voted on. You simply get an invite and mm. you go. And you play. You can play. We're talking about an exhibition. So you can play for five or ten minutes. You can, If you want to coach, you can coach. So like after Kobe's tenth all-star game, when he's like 30 years old, 
then sure, then you just become every year you well, get invited. Why don't invited. we just change LeBron it? LeBron gets invited every year. Why, why don't not? we just change it into the American political system? We can have a popular vote, which is for all the people who no, are I popularly to be voted in, like and have an electoral college in there for the maybe the people that are not as represented in the smaller. So the smaller teams, yeah, Isaiah they Thomas get in. in electoral college would win the All-Star game. There you go, and something. Giannis probably represented in that. Um, but by the way, we never even mentioned, Joel Embiid was voted, his NBA vote was endorsed by Mike Trout. Get the guy in there! Was it really? Yeah, Mike Trout uh, tweeted out saying Joel Embiid NBA vote. Joel Embiid is playing like an All-Star, he should absolutely be in there. Um, of course he should. So, should, so should Kawhi Leonard. Back to the numbers though, because the numbers, man, the numbers don't lie. What's Jabari Parker doing on there? <laughs> No, if, I mean, seriously, what is he doing on there? Aside from having... What is Manu Ginobili doing on there? What is... Uh, actually, Eric Gordon's been playing pretty well overall, actually. I would consider that. And, like, here's the funniest thing is they have, um, like, okay, for example, Curry, Harden, Westbrook. That's the wrong order. It, sh uh, order. it, should, it should be, be Westbrook, Westbrook Harden, 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 Curry. Curry. Yeah. And, and exactly. that's because of its popularity. Um, it should be... I mean, based on the performance as well, Anthony Davis should be far up in the front court uh, in the West as well. But Not it, higher again, than Zaza. Not higher than... <laughs> ever. <laughs> Draymond Green, another one, but it just becomes like, obviously the league is blessed with such talented players, but you've got to find a way to represent the players that you know are not going to get the popular vote because you, people would still rather see Dwayne Wade uh, as an all-star. Right, but he's made enough times that he gets an invite. Yeah, he can turn up for the last quarter. Put him in. Did you see his dunk on the Knicks? Yes, I did. He's defies Where does he hide age. that? He's a vampire. He him, Pharrell. No, seriously, like... There are times where you watch Dwayne Wade play basketball and you go, I just don't think from this point forward, this minute of this game, he can even get off the ground. And then 12 minutes later, he's running the paint and dunking it as hard as Westbrook over Kristaps Porzingis. And I think he's a liar. Has, has <laughs> I think he's secretly... Complete tangent here, but it's still to do with Dwayne Wade and his career. Has there ever been a player in the NBA that has made it look as effortless getting to the basket? Is Dwayne Wade AI? Um, or where do you categorize him? Top five, top ten? The crazy thing with Dwayne Wade is because of just how his body aged, he had he has a career like has a career arc that for four years, maybe five years, Dwayne Wade was a top five player in the league and it was unquestionable and an MVP candidate and like, what he did with Shaq on those Heat teams yeah. before LeBron when I first came. Grew and loved them. Dwayne Wade, like he got the nickname Flash, and he was such a lethal arsenal of attacks to get to the rim. And his turnaround jumper was nice, too. And defensively, he was great. But it's, uh, it's unfortunate because his body just ever so slowly has degraded. However he stores it, the guy's just a, he's a fighter. He's a winner. Um, as Jenk would put it, like, like the Chargers, the Chargers are losers, man. Like, well, he Dwayne plays... Wade's a winner. Like, he will, so he games up for... Uh, the playoffs more than he does yeah. the regular season. Like, if you put his back against the wall, you're testing him, something comes out of Dwayne Wade, and I think that's going to happen until he's 36, 37. It's just that his career arc, his best four years, never extended for four more. Yeah. Like, LeBron's been unbelievably good for every single year he's been in the NBA, whereas Wade went up, went up, went up, and then hit his peak and then stayed there for a little bit, and then it's just kind of slowly come down from there. And a, a, a undoubted Hall of Famer in the league, for I would say Dwayne Wade could very much make the starting five from the 2000 to 2010, mm -hmm. as in like could be the starting shooting guard if it wasn't for Kobe Bryant. So <laughs> he's uh, and I think that he's made himself Jesus always made himself uh, useful, which in his later years, Kobe, he Dwayne Wade, Wade ages his basketball. He, he's his basketball game has aged like George Clooney, you know. Always good looking. Always want to take him home. Always want to end this. People are going to be so mad. I th uh... Are you still processing the one thought? Dan's still giving us a wrap up sign. Jason will be back after thinking about this on the next clip.